should you consider going to university and getting a fine art degree? I get asked that question a lot by aspiring artists, and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. But before I even get into it, and the answer is a definite maybe, it depends. But before I get into that, the very first thing that you need to ask yourself is what do you want out of art? If you're looking for a career in art, uh, because you could be you could be in the art business and be a curator at a public gallery, right? You could write art reviews for magazines or for newspapers. There are a lot of different things that you could do in the art business. And for some of them, you might find it helpful to have a fine art degree. But I'm going to talk about if you want to make your living the way I do by creating work and then selling your work, whether it be directly to clients, whether it be online, whether it be through commercial galleries, whatever. If that is the type of artist that you want to be, then should you consider getting a degree in fine art? Well, <laughs> that's what I'm going to talk about today. But uh, before I do, just as always, if you like my content and you'd like me to keep creating videos, you can help me grow the channel and spread the word by liking this video. If you haven't already, you can click on the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of when I publish new videos, you can click on the little bell. So again, I'm assuming right now that this question is, is for people who want to make their living through creating and selling their art. And so do you need to have a fine art degree? The answer is absolutely not. Should you consider getting a fine art degree? Well, I would say maybe and only in very certain circumstances. So the first thing is I would say is that if you need to go into debt to get a degree, then do not do it. A fine art degree by itself is not worth anything when it comes to making your living as an artist. Actually, the only thing more useless than that piece of paper, a fine art degree, is a master's in fine art. It would be like if you wanted to become a professional hockey player and you went to the tryout and said, I have my master's in hockey. It's like nobody cares about that. All they care about is can you skate? Can you shoot? Can you put the puck in the net? Can you defend? And it's the same thing with art. If you're producing art for sale, all anyone cares about is the quality of the art that you are producing and how does it impact the viewer? And do you need to go to university to do that? No, absolutely not. But could it be a positive experience? Yes. So if you're in the situation where you don't need to go into debt, so that would be, I would say, either your parents are paying for the university experience and or you might be in a situation where you're retired or you're just independently wealthy and you have a steady income coming in and you can afford to go to university to get your degree and it's not going to impact your finances. Then in that case, it might be a wonderful experience but it's only going to help you on your career path as an artist if it is the type of program where what they focus on is the skills and the knowledge around creating art so quite often you will find this type of program very similar to the old atelier type experience where it's like for the first year you don't even get to use color it's all about drawing you might use you might use pencil, you might use Conte, you might use charcoal. It's all about just learning the skills. And then they gradually take you along. Till on the last year, they might actually be asking you for you to create something with your own unique voice. But if you're going to a program, and a lot of the BFA programs are like this, where right off the bat, they want you to be creative and original. And if, the, if they follow in kind of the postmodernist type of train of thought, you're not actually going to learn anything that's going to help you create better paintings because the only value of an art education is whether it gives you more skills, more knowledge, more experience to be able to create better work. So in that situation, then I would say, yes, go ahead, get your degree in fine art, make sure that it's a university where they teach the traditional model of art, which was kind of thrown out in the window in the 1950s. But if they talk a lot about postmodernism and about, about kind of the impact of your work on society and the message you're trying to send, and it's all about more of that stuff, than actually learning how to draw and learning how to paint, then I would say for the purpose of actually selling your work, 
it's an absolute waste of money. And again, in any case, one of the biggest problems for people trying to make a living as an artist is actually getting to the point where you can earn a decent living. So the last thing you need to do is saddle yourself with $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 in debt for an education that really is not going to help you that much one way or the other, because you can get the same sort of education that you could get at a university much, much cheaper and not go into huge debt. And in some cases, it might actually be a better education. Again, if we think about education, not in terms of getting a piece of paper, but in acquiring the knowledge and experience and skills that are actually going to help you have a successful career. And so in my next video, I'm actually going to talk to you about some of the ways that you can get a great art education without paying the big bucks of a fine art degree.